Good afternoon, everybody. I hope that you're all okay. I've got your story for today. And the story I'm reading for you today is called The Loudest Roar. Now the author, so the person who wrote this story, his name's at the bottom there. So Thomas Taylor wrote this story for us. I hope that you are all sitting comfortably and ready for our story today. The jungle was a peaceful place. Everyone was quiet and everyone was calm. Well, nearly everyone. Clovis was a tiger, and even though he was only small, he knew he was the fiercest, most roaringest tiger in the whole world. And Clovis thought that everyone else should know it too. One day he saw some parrots chatting politely as they picked their juicy fruit. Now there's lots of adjectives in this story, so I wonder if you could spot them as I'm reading the rest of the story. Remember, our adjectives are our describing words. Well done. Roar! Suddenly, there was Clovis. He found some muddy wildebeest swallowing happily in their slimy swamp. They didn't see the roaring gift tiger in the whole world. Mm. Roar! Suddenly, there was Clovis. Let's see him. The mighty elephants were sunning themselves peacefully at the edge of the jungle. Roar! Suddenly, there was Clovis. Can you see him? So he's frightening everybody. Oh, yes, said Clovis proudly. I've got the loudest roar in all the jungle. The animals began to complain. Why should he spoil our peace? Squawked an angry parrot. But what could they do? Then a monkey, who was very clever, had an idea. I wonder if you could predict what his idea is. Clovis didn't notice the others creeping up on him. Then suddenly, <gasps> snap, squawk, boop, boop, snap, squawk. Clovis was very surprised. It was the loudest roar he had ever heard. The little monkey looked up at the fiercest, most roaringest tiger in the whole world and said, if you promise not to roar at us, he said, then we'll promise not to roar at you. Clovis said he wouldn't try. The jungle was a peaceful place and everyone was quiet. Everyone was calm and Clovis was very well behaved. Most of the time. So he might go and roar, um, roar at that tortoise and scare him. So I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope that you um, noticed some of the adjectives in that story. If you did, maybe comment some, comment some of the adjectives below for me. Thank you for listening, everybody, and we'll see you soon.